as you as you know, the story of NIF is also a story of California. Laser was invented in California. John Dunkels did his pioneering research on fusion in California. Many of the optics that are in NIF were built here in California. Uh, so this is truly a, an incredible story for the state as well as the nation and the world. So it's my extreme pleasure to uh, bring to the stage uh, our governor. Uh, he has been a tireless supporter of this also. Uh, several times, uh, as uh, Congresswoman Lofgren pointed out, we had uh, slight concerns about the funding. Uh, the governor has been uh, very generous in his support of this project and the ideas of the limitless energy that it uh, can provide. Governor. Well, thank you very much, George, for the kind things you've said. And I want to say thank you also for the great, for the great, great stuff that you're doing. Uh, uh, I want to say thank you also for having me here today. I remember very well when I uh, uh, was here with uh, Secretary George Schultz, with my very good friend who brought me here to take a tour of this facility just a few months ago. It was last November. And um, it was uh, really remarkable. And we were so excited that we said, we'll be back. And uh, so here we are today, and I'm sorry that uh, my friend George Schultz couldn't show up because he's in the hospital with his wife. She is uh, having hip surgery right now because she had an accident yesterday, so I think it's a better place for him to be uh, than to be here. So we wish a quick recovery, of course. I talked to her earlier this morning. Uh, but anyway, it's great to be back here again at this facility, and it's great also to celebrate here that this great dedication. And I think especially... This is uh, uh, terrific for California because it provides such a bright spot uh, for California at a time when California is going through some difficult uh, moments and difficult times where people are struggling to hold on to their jobs and their homes and to provide for their families and so on. So this is bringing a bright spot to us all, and it's exactly the kind of innovation that Americans have come to expect from California. Uh, the first uh, working laser was invented right here in California, as we just heard, and fusion was invented right here in California, and now we have invented the world's largest laser system. Uh, we can create the stars right here on Earth, and I can see already my friends in Hollywood being very upset that their stuff that they show on a big screen is obsolete. We have the real stuff right here. But that's what we do in California. We dream big. And I think that uh, I can uh, tell you that firsthand that when you dream big in California, you can make those dreams become a reality. And uh, we have seen it here again. You know, we do it all from the idea to the research and development to the prototyping to the end result and ready to be shared and uh, spread around the globe. And so I'm very proud of the partnership and the ingenuity that brought us all here today. Our universities and national labs and academic institutions are leading the way uh, for the nation and for the world. And it has been uh, so good, uh, not only because of the inventions and the creativity, but also economically this has been very good. Because uh, by next year, uh, NIF will have spent more than $2 billion on this facility. And more than 800 vendors in our state have supplied it. And it provides 1,000 science and technology jobs here for Californians. This is all high-tech work, and it is groundbreaking. 192 beams of light, all aimed at a target the size of a pencil sharpener and a pencil eraser, which will produce tremendous amount of energy. We're talking about the amount of energy uh, that is equal to 1,000 times the generating power of the whole United States. I mean, this is mind-blowing when you think about those numbers. Five trillion watts of power. So this is what this uh, facility will produce, and uh, NIF would also transform our energy future. Uh, fusion energy may be exactly what will power uh, future generations on this uh, uh, globe. Uh, it would take, of course, time, to develop uh, this technology and to be able to harness all of this power uh, so that we can use it for cars and for homes and for office buildings and so on. 
but I know one thing, it's happening right here in California, where we have the best uh, uh, science, the best technology, and the best innovation. So again, congratulations to the great, great work that you're doing. Thank you very much. Thank you.